So how many vlogs have I done from the inside of one of these elevators? So I had somebody catch me walking out the door saying, hey Kelly, it's only 5.30, what are you doing? It's still daylight, you can't leave yet. It's like, well, if I want to ride, I got to get going. These are new boots and they are killing me. So I don't want to walk. I've got a new pair of boots. And normally I think the first thing I do with a new pair of boots is I'm, I put this stuff on them called mink oil. And I've already worn these once just because, well, you know, what the hell. But I use Kiwi mink oil almost exclusively just because it's the stuff I was told works and so far it has worked really well for me. So let's see. That's the key. That's the stuff I'm using. I'm also using a slightly different version of it, which I think is just newer. So I usually use that as well. <coughs> two things you got to do. You got a really horrible mink oil ready cloth here. I mean, we're mink oil ready toothbrush here. Having a bunch of rags laying around would be handy as well. I'm told by Wikipedia that mink oil really is made from mink fat, so who knows, maybe it really is. <clears throat> so we've got a little twisty thing to open it up, and you got goop on the inside. <clears throat> Generally I just wipe the boots off, take my toothbrush and just get a big, low, big old lump on here. And just cram it into the seams. So I don't know how else to do it. There are the seams right there. You, you concentrate on the ones that are right next to the ground. And you just take it. You don't worry about overage because hey, it's good for the oil. It's good for the leather anyway. And the secret is not to spend a whole lot of time doing it. And you get these up here as well. And you just smear the daylights out of it. Baptize it as my dad says. This seam, this seam seems to be the one on uh, several different brands of boots I've owned over my life that gives out. I don't know if it's because it kicks things as you go by it, but that's the one that you gotta really, make, really get in there with because it seems to be the one that breaks. The back also seems to be a spot where they leak. It seems to come in the heel for some reason. And I imagine it's because that's how you pull your boots off. Pull the top away from the bottom. So really just cram it in there. Put a little bit of pressure on the brush and just get it to just push on it enough to uh, collapse the bristles a bit. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you get a bunch all over the dang place. It's all this stuff just wipes off. And these are work boots. Don't do this to a nice pair of boots that you're going to go dancing in. Uh, you just plan on not getting those wet. And I'll be honest with you. Half the time, I don't even wipe them off. I just wear them like that for a couple of days. Like I was saying earlier, I wore these today, and I hate to tell you, man, they tore my ankle, uh, not my ankle, they tore, tore my heel up pretty good. Eh, not too bad, but it's just any new pair of boots is gonna do that. Well, these did it. But I think they're gonna be a good pair of boots. These are, these were not the most expensive boots, let me tell you. Uh, they are the brand that I've had good luck with. My wife tried to convince me to buy the ones that said waterproof that were some no-name brand. And she tried to convince me, she, you know, she was helping me out, saying, look, look at all these choices you have here. I'm like, yeah. The last time I went with another brand was Caterpillar. And those Caterpillar boots split in the in the sole of the boot, right in the thickest part where you think it'd be the strongest is right where they split. So you cannot tell by looking at a pair of boots what part of the boot is going to be strong, what part isn't. <clears throat> I had somebody ask me today, why are you walking funny, Kelly, you all right? It's like, yeah, new boots. And they're like, oh. So they completely understood what I meant when I said new boots. No, no further explanation needed. I'm actually doing this against a nice shirt. I should not be doing this against this nice shirt. It's already starting to dry. I haven't even been out here 10 minutes. 
I can't tell you how old this can is. This particular can has got to be six years old. Alright, recall that done. Not the excess just because it has some dirt in it. All back in there. Ain't nothing wrong with it. That's the clean that is the most sealed toothbrush in the history of mankind. Now I wore these today and I'll let them sit. I'll let them sit a couple of days before I wear them again. Look how messy that is. Half of that will soak in and the other half will rub off when I walk around. But let me know in the comments if I missed any spots that you can see. Enjoy!